Scott Heinzelman, job titles Senior Project Engineer, and I work for Performance Contracting. Uh, this June, I'll be here six years now. Uh, main things that keep me coming back would be the people I work with, uh, and then also providing you know a nice, stable financial life for my family. A path to current position, it's a uh, kind of a whiny one, I guess. I don't have any construction background. Uh, come from the East Coast originally, was in kind of almost like HR type field. Uh, was visiting family out here for multiple years with my now wife, obviously, and ended up deciding to move out here and then just knew some people in the business and ended up getting an interview and getting a shot. And like I said, now I've been here for basically six years now. Uh, inspiration was, I mean, more at the time, didn't really find anything I was liking as far as job goes. Like I said, I had some family and friends that I knew in the business, uh, liked the way they talked about it, liked the way they talked about the company. So, like I said, just kind of ended up getting a shot with them and okay, been here six years, like I said, meant to be, I guess. That it's, it's a fun industry. It's a fun industry to be in. You meet a lot of great people. Believe it or not, it's actually pretty small as far as just seeing repeat people and being on working with the same kind of GCs over and over and dealing with the same people as you move from project to project. So it's just a pretty small, fun industry to be in. Unique skills, I guess I'd say probably because I'm not necessarily from a construction background. I kind of look at things a little different than most people do. Uh, so it can add some nice insight there, I feel like. Uh, and then on top of that, just a uh, pretty, pretty laid back demeanor going on. So when things get a little hectic, you know, just, just keep on chugging, growing with flow. What I like most probably, again, is the people, just the people I deal with on a daily basis that I work with. Uh, everybody's just really caring, good to get along with. Uh, day to day, I get here probably about seven or so in the morning, uh, just catch up on some emails, talk to anybody in the field that I need to catch up with since they usually, most jobs start, you know, five or six in the morning, so they're already out there working, um, get anything they need to get done with them, and then just it's emails after that and just dealing with our customers. Uh, on my side, I probably have eight to 10 projects at any given time I'm running, so I got multiple different people I need to check in with and get stuff too so getting out to the job sites is uh always a nice little perk because you get away from that computer after work i get home uh, i got three boys right now ranging from uh, a year and a half to about to be seven so pretty uh pretty hectic life at home once i get out of here it's the family um three boys wife uh come get to work and just grind and get everything taken care of and Try and keep providing that good life for them. I think the people have a lot to do with what makes the company culture great. Um, people at the branches, obviously the people back at our uh, home office in Lenexa, um, you know, if they kind of set the standard of what everybody should be doing, you know, our core values and things of that, and everybody takes them to heart and follows them and ends up making a, a nice, fun workplace. professional soccer player a little different yeah yeah I played uh, through high school probably could uh probably could have gone to college but I actually wanted to experience the college thing so I just pretty much just had too much fun instead of uh, focusing on soccer I guess the stereotype of it's it's a man's profession or whatever is just you know it's not really realistic I don't think it's it's for anybody, for everybody. If you can handle the work and everything like that and show you got what it takes, I mean, there's nothing you can't accomplish with it. I mean, I felt like I kind of already knew it, which was part of my uh, way to fit in without you know necessarily having any construction experience is just I think it's just the way I approach things, you know, just not making everything into a big deal. So it's more just, I feel like it is kind of like that relaxed attitude. I mean, obviously you need to be, when things are important, you got to get it taken care of, but it's not letting as much bother you as it necessarily, it shouldn't bother you.
Milestone would probably be when we finished uh, our one west side project. That was a, a tough project for us. A lot of exterior metal panels. It was new scope for me, so I had a lot of a lot of lessons learned, a lot of bumps and bruises along the way. Everybody had a lot of bumps and bruises with it, so just getting through that and when it was finally complete, it was, it looks great too, but it was just a nice, uh, I mean, it wasn't nice, but it was, <laughs> learned a lot with it. You learn a lot more on the tough projects than you do on the easy projects.